one time. Well, my time is a quantity that an object has when it's moving. You can think of it as how hard it is to stop. Mathematically denoted by the variable p, its formula's easy. p equals mass times velocity, that's all. No special unit name, so here's how to call it. The unit for the mass times v's unit. And momentum's a vector, so to be complete. You've got to mention where it's directed. Welcome to momentum. Mass is in motion. The more MV you've got, the harder to stop that you become. Yeah, welcome to momentum. Not all that complex. Not too many topics, so we'll handle impulse next. Impulse is a force applied over a period of time. In other words, it's equal to F times T. It can also be thought of as change in momentum. In that case, it's just simply delta P. Final man is initial. Taking Newton's second law, F equals MA. Or mass times how fast you accelerate. A equals change in velocity over time. Then multiply the time across both sides. That's how you can prove that. Impulse equals force times time or change in momentum. When it comes to units, Newton seconds or the same as momentum, just kilogram meters per second. Learning momentum, learning about momentum, learning about momentum, learning about momentum, learning about momentum. 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 Learning that momentum Learning momentum's not as hard as you thought We're not quite done just yet, we've got just one more thing When does momentum stay the same? Collisions conservation that you need to know So sit back and relax cause here we go you don't lose momentum if no force is applied That happens in collisions, elastic, inelastic, and explosions Momentum an object loses is gained by another When you consider momentum in the x and y directions, nothing changes Learning momentum, learning about momentum Let's discuss the three types of collisions, collisions Learning momentum, learning about momentum It seems about time to break it down It's elastic before hitting objects of momentum and energy And afterwards neither is tweaked No more, no less No energy is lost throughout the process In elastic, collisions are different Kinetic energy is lost and converted to other forms when objects hit, and if it's perfectly inelastic, objects stick. Explosions, one thing separates, and its fragments travel all over the place, each with individual momentum. When you consider direction, they all cancel. So to recap, in every type of collision, momentum is conserved, but the ability to conserve energy is reserved to elastic collisions. I open your vision to the world of momentum conservation. <laughs>